with my uh, best friend slash enemy, Scottie Pippen's wife. You bringing heat to the family. Every time I turn around, you either putting your thing thing on somebody or putting something up your nose, putting something up in your arms, putting something in your lungs. And this is why a lot of poor kids hate 250 Gemstones culture represents a nation of people that strive for excellence and greatness every single day. We are more than journalism. We are a revolution. Come on, come on, let's kick this door down and let everybody know we are in here. Welcome to the 250 Gemstones News TV channel. I am your host, Michael T. Porter, and I'm bringing the news to your ass like no other. This is a channel that represents a nation of people that strive for excellence and greatness every single day. I have another bomb news segment for y'all, but before I begin, y'all hit that like button, that subscribe button, that share button. Hit that notification bell, and if you guys like to support the channel, Cash App, Dollar Sign, Michael US, join that membership, support your board. Also, check out my Spotify podcast, the 250 Gemstones Culture Podcast. Link is in the description. Y'all stay and watch the whole video. We need to talk. Marcus Houston was in uh, out there in France, right, with some nose candy, snorting, 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 all in public with his girlfriend, Ashley Stevenson, this IG model, right? Big old breast assist. I like to grab one if it doesn't work out between them. Lord, have mercy. Them rich kids are on some other stuff. Privileged. I heard he don't work and he do drugs all day. That, that's the lifestyle of a rich kid. Especially a rich kid who uh, ain't got no talent, who ain't, who's not a go-getter, who's not trying to replicate their parents' work ethic. Drugs, women, drugs, sex, and living in the basement. Now, we're going to say alleged because we don't know for sure, but I know for sure because this nigga, look, he looks happy. He looks... <laughs> This is not like happy, like, oh man, my paycheck came early, or 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 man, the uh uh I don't know, uh what make you get? Oh, the job gave you a gift card at Foot Locker. Now you get, now you can buy them J's you always wanted. You know, something that's out the blue that's good, some good news, like damn, okay. Some money coming in, okay, but I don't know. I, I believe this is uh straight from Colombia, he put that Colombia up his nose. He put that Scarface up his nose. Marcus, not Marcus, Michael Jordan must be a little bit embarrassed about his son. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. You know, you're sleeping with my uh, best friend slash enemy, Scottie Pippen's wife. You bringing heat to the family. Every time I turn around, you either putting your thing thing on somebody or putting something up your nose putting something up in your arms putting something in your lungs and this is why a lot of poor kids hate rich people or hate rich kids because y'all have everything why aren't y'all using it to your advantage i ain't talking about there's a lot of poor kids that do drugs they you know they just a uh, long line of drug users that's the culture they go to jail behind drugs they have children behind drugs because a lot of them drugs make you horny a lot of them drugs make you real horny. So a lot of uh, reproduction has come behind drugs. A lot of destruction has become came behind drugs. A lot of fights come behind drugs. It's a different element. So the, the kids that grew up in that environment, they look at rich kids. Man, if I could just have a car, I'd be here, I'd be here. If I had this, I'd be here, I'd be here. I'll be doing this with my life. My, if I can go to any college I want. The kids in the ghetto, they have a brain that's trying to use their brain. They they, they despise rich kids because how do you have everything and you don't even use it to your advantage? Like this nigga, Marcus Jordan. I'm going to say Marcus Houston. This nigga, Marcus Jordan. He just want to live a life of a rock star. And I heard, like I said, I heard he's unemployed. How the hell you unemployed and your dad got all this opportunity? Help, help him win some games. Help him coast to Charlotte Hornets. Help him uh, uh, grab everybody's gym bag. Be a water boy. Contribute, nigga. Contribute. Do something. Are you into real estate? Are you going to school for engineering? See, when you have that type of money, you don't have to worry. When you go to school, you don't have to worry about bills. That's a beautiful thing where you can just concentrate on your studies at a high level. 
because in order to get good grades you have to put an immense amount of hours you have to get tutoring and a lot, it's hard for the everyday person because we got bills to pay while we're putting all this time in for studying your brain's already tired from work and then you got to put uh summon up more energy you have to uh, conjure up more energy to get these studies to get good i'm talking about to get good grades you get to find this energy and, and if you have kids too oh man so just having all this money your kids are taken care of they're in daycare you ain't got to work you can just get on with life quickly y'all flood my comment what do y'all think about this nigga marcus jordan instead of doing something with his life the life that his father granted him a beautiful life instead of doing something with himself he rather blow the backs out of IG models and snort cocaine and sleep with his dad's enemy's wife. That's what he doing. 250 capital G, I'm gone.